Check it out, Hagstrom 3 from the 60s. Um, you know, beat up a little bit. This one came to me with a lot of problems. Logo sanded off. But I went through and I just, you know, fixed every little problem in it. Switches are always a problem on these. And I, you know, really worked hard to uh, sp spray those out and actually go through and scrape the oxidation off the connections, which is hard to get in there. But that's really what you gotta do to get those things working. Uh, a bunch of nicks and scratches. Um, oh, also new tone, I'm uh, sorry, new volume nut pot and a different knob on there, but it's kind of 60s looking, it's not bad. And then, you know, oh, I was uh, missing a tuner, but luckily I had one in stock, so it matches it nicely. Back of the neck worn in nicely, feels nice on the hand. These necks are super thin, which are really kind of nice, thin and flat, you know. Action's low, well, I cut this nut nicely now, it was too high above the first fret. Now it's feather touch, so that keeps it int intonated much better when you're not pushing so hard. Uh, levels of frets that were sounding bad, and uh, man, the action's good now. And these things have a nice twang to them. That's your bridge pick up there. Let's try the neck. <laughs> Switches worked, pickups came on nicely, so it was well worth getting in there and really scraping away. How right about neck and middle? Now we're going to do neck and the bridge. Itself. And then I got a tone switch here, which is going to take the highs out. I'll have to cut that saddle. Just knocked it out, but I can cut that deeper. Plus, my technique's a little strange. You know, I'm playing this thing upside down, but I'm still going to cut it right. Tone switch. Now this one here, it says mute, and I think that's another tone switch, but I got a wire just as an off. So, there you go, just off and on. Because someone had been in there rewiring this thing and I was not going to try and get it all back. Things were missing. And then this top one here also is a tone, but I just disconnected it, nothing. This isn't the actual on off here, but these things are very unreliable. They have a a hot wire going to the switch which goes to the shielding tape it's not the way to do that and plus you're gonna end up shutting it off while you're strumming very good idea to disconnect that one my personal opinion new uh, volume pot yeah so a lot of the hassles gone because this thing is ready to go now this a little deeper I think we're in good shape because it won't pop out once I do that you can put your name up there if you want if you want to have your own guitar company <laughs> okay there's the hags from three 675 on this you know these can be $1,200 these days oh original hard shell case uh, so yeah there's some good stuff and uh, fun guitar Thanks.